always looking for errors, you're going to see all the wrongdoings in your life because you're looking for errors. But if you're optimistic and you're always looking for positives, you're going to find more positives in your well, life. Well, this speaks to what we were talking about earlier about being young and failing a lot. Like right. if you concentrate on those failures, then you think of yourself as a failure. It's mm -hmm. very dangerous for people because I've seen it with people where they have a few bad experiences like in high school, like they fall apart a few times and you know they lose jobs, they lose this, they lose that, and then they're a loser. And then in mm -hmm. their mind, they're a loser because they're concentrating only on those negative experiences that they've had instead of like getting past that and growing and say that was a valuable life experience. And that's caused me to reevaluate and reassess the way I communicate and change the way I think and it caused me to like get up earlier and work harder. And that made me a winner because bad experiences are very valuable. Like failing is very valuable right. mm -hmm. because it sucks. And you can and when, learn. Yeah, a when, when you were in jail, you're probably like, bro, this can't keep happening, <laughs> right? Exactly. Let's switch yeah. up the content, exactly. let's yeah. go. That's, that's the good aspect of, of bad experiences is that it gives you like an incredibly powerful, motivating tool. You know, so I don't know whether or not you can manifest things into existence, but I'm not opposed to the idea totally. I am opposed to the idea that it's the only thing. I'm opposed to the idea like the secret, you know, like I'm getting, I mean, you, you know, that the I've documentary, that. the secret, yeah, yeah. there was like a, a bunch of people that really believed that they were just going to think things into existence. Yeah. That's this the saddest thing. There was this girl who was friends with a friend of mine and uh, she was at uh, the comedy store one night and she's like, um, I am, you know, I am so happy because I found the secret and I'm going to meet the man of my dreams and I'm going to have the career that I've always wanted. I'm like, how are you going to do that? She's like, well, I just started following the secret. And like <laughs> Oprah was, you know, talking about it on her show and all these people believe in the secret. Like, hey, Oprah, you already fucking, you have the secret. All right. You're already <laughs> Oprah. Like, yeah, you're Oprah. You can't, you can't just fucking start selling dreams. So, uh, so I didn't see this lady for like couple of years and then i ran into her at another comedy show i'm like hey how you doing i haven't seen you forever she was like yeah things aren't working out like i really thought that i was going to be able to control my life hmm. with the secret but you know my father is still a fucking loser and you know every guy I dates an idiot and and you know i don't have the career that i wanted i was like oh yeah. Which is like, real. It's not that simple. It's so sad too, because that's what I always like think about when someone asks, like, "Oh my god, like, I want to be a YouTuber. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber now. Of everyone wants to be on social media or TikTok, and everyone's yeah. like, oh yeah, it's just, you know, easy. Post a video or something like that.' Mm -hmm. But you don't realize how much work mm -hmm. goes into it, or how much you have to try and be able to accept failure for months on months on months before you see all the anything. critique. It takes a certain yeah. type of person to put themselves out there, which is a whole nother topic. But it's so sad that like this new generation is kind of like being born into where everybody has followers now. Like when Sam and I were in high school and we started popping off on Vine, like it was like frowned upon. Like we were not popular in high school whatsoever. Um, but now it seems like, yeah, kids just are born into that where they have, you know, iPads at a super young age.